Welcome to Acoustica Mixcraft. Before using Mixcraft, you'll want to optimize your computer to run as efficiently as possible. Doing so will help diminish or eliminate cracks, pops, latency, and synchronization issues. Recording and editing audio or video can be very demanding on your computer's resources no matter what software you use. With this in mind, you'll want to free up as much resource as possible in order to record, edit, and mix down your projects. Every computer has its limit, no matter what the specifications. This means that if you've got dozens of other applications and background services running, you're using up valuable recording resource on unnecessary tasks. Close all other running foreground applications by Xing out of them. Now let's familiarize you with the Windows system tray. Located by your clock, applications running here appear as innocent icons but are actually programs that are fully up and running in the background. Most programs that run in the system tray can be closed by right-clicking the icon and choosing Close or Exit. Here I have a project open which contains about 30 audio and virtual tracks within multiple subtracks. Notice that Mixcraft displays the system CPU usage along with its own CPU usage. At the moment, with all my programs open in the background, the total amount of system CPU usage is at about 97%, leaving very little for Mixcraft to work with. This, of course, will cause glitching, pops, clicks, synchronization issues, and more. Notice the project glitches when I'm playing it back. Now let's close all these running programs. With all the programs closed, you can see that Mixcraft shows system CPU usage down to about 10%. Playback should be smooth now. Notice while I play this project back that Mixcraft only uses about 2 to 5% of the available processing power. A quick note about the CPU meters at the bottom right of the Mixcraft window. The Mixcraft CPU meter shows the percentage of your computer's processing power that Mixcraft is currently using. The system meter shows the total amount of your computer's processing power being used by all running programs. If your system CPU meter shows low usage, but you still experience glitching or synchronization issues, try switching drivers from within Mixcraft preferences. Click the Preferences button. In the sound device area, try WAVE, ASIO, or WAVE RT if available. If using the WAVE driver, try doubling the number of buffers and doubling the buffer size. If you have hardware that supports ASIO, click the Open Mixer button, and that should bring up the ASIO interface, and you can change the buffer size, bit depth, or latency settings there. Or you can try WAVE RT. This stands for Wave Real-Time. This is Microsoft's low latency driver. You can set latency as low as 20 milliseconds. Or, if exclusive mode is available, such as in Windows 7 and Windows 8, you can set it even lower. Remember, the lower you go, the harder it is on your CPU. When you use a sound from the Mixcraft library, Mixcraft downloads the sound on demand from our servers. For this reason, you'll want to make sure other programs are not updating over the internet while you work. This would include Windows Automatic Updates. For advanced users, you can go a few steps further to relieve stress on your computer's processor. In Windows 7, you can run the Microsoft Configuration Utility, or MS Config, in order to stop programs from running when your computer boots up by clicking your Windows Start menu and then click Run which may also be under the Accessories or System Tools folder. Type msconfig and click OK. Then go to the Startup tab. Since I'm using Windows 8, I can right-click on the taskbar, choose Task Manager, go to the Startup tab from there. All the programs listed here are starting in the background when I power up my PC. For the most part, you can disable most of these, 
but be careful not to disable anything critical. Right click on any item to disable it. Now simply close the task manager window and restart your computer. Once the computer is up and running again, you should see better performance from not only Mixcraft, but the entire computer. Now that you've optimized your computer, your system CPU meter should show a lower percentage and Mixcraft should run smoothly. Thanks for watching and thanks for using Mixcraft.